how does it feel being a I'm gonna give you this phone to actually work. I'm gonna give you this. Yeah, do it. I mean, it's a lot of extra work when you have to sync it up, but it's just talk right here. Yeah, talking to the bottom like yeah, right. make it look gangster though, like that's just cool to hold. Alright, we'll do it. What rap artist first inspired you um, to listen to music? Rap artist? Yeah. Like literally just like straight up listen to music? Yeah, like who got you into any rap songs? To be honest, bro, uh, Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. That's like legit the first uh, rap song I ever heard. And then the music video came out, and I was like, holy shit. And then Fetty Wap's from Jersey. I'm from Jersey. I was like, damn. Oh, yeah, and look straight at the lens when you talk. Um, oh, shit, word. <laughs> you got to make them very entertained. But, uh... See, we talked about some of the stuff on the Twisted T podcast, bro. For real, bro. <laughs> and you didn't even see the other shit. But, like, there's, like, the part two to that. I still have to... Oh, shit. Remember? There's, like, a the part... The part two is an hour and two minutes. <laughs> bro. That's after the video when the camera died. This is the after. She is. Yeah. Dude, we literally talked about Lana Rose, Brittany Griner, G, OJ. <laughs> We're going crazy. Yeah, so it's hard for me to really think of some story, right man. Um, fair. Fair. What's interesting to you that you've seen out right now? Like music wise? Mm -hmm. Or like anything. Fuck, bro. Uh, I don't think Andrew Tate should have been arrested. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you see him get out the van the other day? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't he know. He looked mad as hell coming out the back of the van. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like... To get on that real quick, Andrew Tate. I feel like he already him. predicted this. Like, he already said that. Like, first they're going to try to cancel him. That doesn't work. Shit. Yeah. Then, then he'll get arrested. If that doesn't work, they'll try to kill him. Now he's been arrested. Now he's hospitalized. Like, I don't know. I just don't know what to Who believe. Who would be trying to kill him, though? I don't know. I think they, the government. How they? How would they do that? I don't know. Stay woke. I don't know. Keep that shit's crazy that, though. though. Oh, I mean, I feel like there's just so many loopholes to it. Like, Get on all the there's like yeah. half of these girls say like he's a nice guy and like, like wouldn't do anything, and then like, there's some of them that are like saying that like he's a bad guy. So like. It's like, what do you believe, you know? It's all the media, though. Do you think he's innocent? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know, but I feel like... Like, I don't think he's a lot of this bitches on a, lot, yeah. on, a, on a yacht. Like, I, I've heard him say... I feel like a lot of this shit's outlandish. He can't yeah. leave. She exactly. can't leave. And, like, a lot of people have said he's, like, genuinely, like, a nice guy, like, when they've met him. So, like, I don't know. They say he's very well-spoken. You yeah. know? You already so, said if the girl wants to leave, she could leave. Exactly. I mean, who knows? There's a lot of conspiracies out there about that shit. Apparently, they were getting held hostage. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Nah. He's top G. He's, that shit's funny. People call him that. Top G. Top G. Um, what else? Uh... I mean, you just thought of something great that, like, 
That was awesome that you just brought that topic up. That's what it is. Like, the topics, we gotta switch the topics a lot. Just because we're trying to run through, we're not trying to sit here all day. I'm trying to exactly. run through this. Mm. Dude, just think of something real quick. I'm looking too, like, when I scroll through my Instagram. Pat's really good at this shit. For real, bro. He just brings up random shit. He made bro. that whole podcast. For real. Bro, I hate the way this deer looks. I don't, like, why does that shit look like that? Why is his eyes like that? <laughs> fuck. That was weird as fuck. Fuck. You thinking? Yeah, I'm trying. Bro, why is my feed so fucked up with all this weird shit? <laughs> Uh, I can't wait for this girl to break up with this guy. <laughs> Typical. Praying on dudes' downfalls. <laughs> Crazy. Is that how is that how it be in Middletown? Nah. They don't be like that. Nah, they don't be scheming that hard. I don't know. Nah, I feel like I'm capping. <laughs> I said that on purpose. <laughs> uh, how about uh, the Damar Hamlin uh, situation? Yeah, get on that. Uh, do you think the game should have been canceled or not? Or do I you don't think really they know about it, on? to be honest. I'd like, like, just give them an intake. Like, you gotta so, like, talk to yourself, kind of. I bet. So you know like how... Um, the DeMar Hamlin situation happened. It was in the Bills Bengals game. He got tackled. He fell back over. Was unconscious. And I think he had like bro I'm either car that shit up, you feel me? It's just like Yeah. I had like he had like a, a cardiac arrest or something. Or some shit like that. And he wasn't breathing on his own and he had to get like resuscitated on the field. And all this shit happened in front of the players. And uh, they ended up postponing the game and ended up it being a draw. Later on, they canceled it. I, I don't know. Do you think it should have been canceled? I think it should have. But a lot of people are, like, yes. mad controversial about it. And then Skip Bayless went out and fucking tweeted that the game shouldn't have been canceled. And that's, it was, like, a really, like, insensitive tweet, and everyone was, like, going at Skip Bayless. And then... Shannon Sharp didn't go on like the uh the air with him. <laughs> he legit didn't go on the air with that man. And uh yeah. So I so I'm wondering like what's gonna happen with that whole situation? You think he's gonna get fired? I mean probably. Like I said, I'm not really in tune with that. Like I know yeah, a lot true. of stuff, but true. I'm not really in tune. So for that, like that fire? topic, just like uh, like talk to them type shit, cause I I don't really have knowledge. I don't want to lie, word, word. and just like bull, I could bullshit and just be like, yeah, yeah, if you want, <laughs> but I don't really know. I'm just being honest. Fair enough. All right. Um, want to get on something else? Get on yeah. something else. Find something else. I'm taking pictures right now. I'll try to think of some shit too while I'm doing it, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of multitasking. <laughs> Fuck, bro. It's hard, I know. Yeah, it's hard to think I'll of be them trying spot. to think of them. I'll be doing all my shits I do. That's all. I'll be doing it all in the spot. I'll be with hood niggas in here, like, like dread it up. And then I'll be sitting here like, damn, like, I got to think of some shit off the top fast. Literally. Because I know what I'm doing. I'm just, like, too lazy. I'm not about to go write all my ideas down. And, like, and the, who, like, who even writes on paper anymore? <laughs> I don't even, like, I'm too lazy to really, like, I don't know. No, it's such facts, bro. Um, Talk about, do you think, is cryptocurrency still good? Do you know about that? 
I feel like crypto's on a downfall right now. Yeah, because, dude, every day, it was good, like, a couple weeks, and now, like, that shit is so fast. I feel like it's just, like, very sketchy business to get into crypto. I don't know. I don't trust it. I mean, you could get really rich off of it, though, but, like, what, like, are you really rich? Yeah. I don't know. That's interesting, but, um, didn't, like, the founders die or something? I have no idea. Liam was chilling with us. Liam? He was watching what we were doing. Oh, fire. Fucking Liam, bro. I miss that kid. Yeah, no, nah, what's it called? You got, you, like, you and your, your man, your boys and shit, you guys gotta go to, uh, like, together because it's like all plates on, like planned out it's only on fridays and saturdays you guys should go to like a death match together and just like you guys will just all be because you could drink at the shows and shit it's by would bring your own beer whatever that shit is and yeah. i know you guys like to do that shit and you could like hit your cart there's like old heads hitting carts in there too bro and they i'd be like what the hell i did not know there's like 40 year old taking carts Damn, and shit bro. But, like just like you're Pat said his, he saw his uncle in the car and he was hella surprised and yeah you guys gotta go though and like I'm like, definitely it'll be down fun. for that yeah. like, you guys would be like oh my god every minute like you'll be laughing like that shit's funny too you could laugh it's not like s- some serious shit mm-hmm. like when that, when somebody gets hit with a frying pan in the head like you might find it funny some of the hits you might be like oh some of them you might just laugh your ass off at mm-hmm that shit seems interesting as hell. And you might cut a dude's finger off. No, I'm fine. I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe, but they, like, they're almost at that point. Mm-hmm. Get on some other shit, though. Because uh... <laughs> this is gonna, they're gonna... I don't want this to be a boring... Because you gotta understand, I take anything. Anything is anything. I don't want them to get bored. True, and, true. Like... Uh, I want to be like, damn, this is a boring guy's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what do you think about, uh, like you. what do you think about, uh, fuck, what do you think about, uh, cap rappers, uh, like making it, like, big? I mean, I, don't ask me, I'm not on camera, you feel me? Yeah. Like, like, I don't know if you were at, like, like if you were asking, your, like, just ask, I guess, like, ask yourself the question. Like, what you just said now or answer to that. Uh, I feel like cap rappers, uh, it depends how much you cap, though, you know? And, like, it depends about what you're capping about. Like, to a stir- certain extent, I feel like it's fine, but, like... You can't be, like, rapping about something, like, you're not really about, you know? Because then, like, people might, like, think you're, like, about that in real life and, like, actually, like, get mad at you or, like, something. I don't know. I feel like you gotta be careful about what you, like, how you, like, put your image out there as, especially in the beginning of your career. Because then you have to, like, stand on that for the rest of, like, your career or whatever. You know? Yeah. That's perfect. Next topic. Alright. Um, I almost broke my foot this morning. I, no I, I threw like an Arizona can because I was lazy. I just threw it and then when I went to get up this morning, I stepped on it and I fell. <laughs> That's funny. You when ever do done you... some show like that? Yeah, bro. That shit's the worst. And you just forget about it and you fucking trip on it or something. When do you think Uzi will drop his next album? I'm gonna say... What are you thinking about bitches showing like a bunch of gods that just want Netflix and chill? What happened? What do you think about bitches telling a bunch of gods they just want Netflix and chill? That's just typical girls of our generation, bro. Hmm? They, that's just typical girls of our generation. They always want Netflix and chill? They're just on some bullshit, bro. Like, literally. Nah, there's some good ones, but most of them are on bullshit, as as usual. I don't know. Um, so 
like you have to go to Miami to find hoes. Like real hoes who want to be hoes. Oh yeah, facts. There's, like there's definitely here, there's bro, definitely bro, girls in Miami. <laughs> Don't yeah. you feel like that? There's definitely girls in Miami. They be acting like fake dots around here. Like, they be acting like they want dick, and then they don't, like, try to, like... They don't even get it, bro. Like, what do they do? Like, why are you just gonna be some... Like, it's weird, bro. Right? Like... Yeah, I feel like that's just where we're from. They just weird around. These jerseys, like, bro, they don't want it. You know, they're weird. Like, I, like, they're all know. talk. <laughs> all mm-hmm. talk. They're all talk. Yeah. I don't know. That is weird, though. You bring that up. That is, that's true. Oh, um, fuck. Saudi Arabia just bought WWA. Really? Mm-hmm. Which means it's a private company and probably won't be produced on TV. And all the women, Stephanie McMahon, they all just and resigned because like in Saudi Arabia they make the women mask up and all that shit so no way I can't believe that shit that happened this morning I don't know what's gonna happen with the WWE talk about that mm-hmm. I could go on WWE in Saudi Arabia that's gonna get views right now um I feel like since Saudi Arabia Vince was the one who sold it by the way he yeah. sold WWE shit well, since he sold it, I feel like the WWE is just not going to be as, like... It's gonna, this is the downfall. Yeah, literally, it's going to be the downfall because it's not going to be as Americanized anymore. So, mm-hmm. like, in the U.S. now, I feel like it's going to start dying out. Yeah. And, like, well, obviously in Saudi Arabia, it'll get a lot more popular, but, like, I feel like a lot more, like, of, like the characters or whatever, like... the Yeah, let Vince McMahon know right now. <laughs> like, let we'll him. be, like... They'll be, like... I don't know, they'll be, like, disappearing. Like, the the people, like, we grew up, like, watching. I don't know, I feel like that's, like, crazy. Dude, and if that shit is only <laughs> in Saudi, bro. you're losing all the American fans. I'm a WWE fan. I'm not going to try exactly. to watch my content from Saudi. Like, it's not going to be on, like, it. I watched it Monday Night Raw on Friday Night Smack. It should be on USA Network. And, like, you feel me, Fox News and shit on the main, on the good channels, mm-hmm. they might lose all of that, bro. Yeah, like, they might lose that because they, like, couldn't get the deals or, like, Saudi Arabia might not want to work with the U.S. Like, who knows what's going to mean. Like, yeah. the sport could, like, legit, like, disappear from the U.S. It is. Literally, bro. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. Yo, Smooth, I got to leave at 12, though. Where you got to work? What? You got to work? Nah, I got plans with my girl. Um. <laughs> Bro, work sucks. Oh, this is a good topic. You think you um, <laughs> you think you should support uh, or you think you should work a nine to five while chasing your dreams, or do you think you should do like side hustles, and like make a little like just make enough money to like go after what you want to do? I guess. Per to say. I don't know. Or do you think it's the right choice to go to college and work on your dreams during college? I'm talking about like being a, like a musician, like an artist type shit, even an entrepreneur. Like I feel like what's like the best route? Like for me, honestly, I feel like you gotta at least have some income coming in, like at least some like solid money. Like I feel like you can't like just not do nothing. Like you gotta like put in work. And you'll get rewarded, you know. But uh, there's a lot of different paths to that. But like a lot of people do be saying you need to go to college. I feel like that's not necessarily true. You know. Keep going. All the way to twelve. Especially in today's age, because like you don't need to go to college anymore per se, to, unless you want like a certain type of like a uh, job that requires a degree, because like. <laughs> Most ways now you can just make money online. There's a lot more like jobs now that don't like require degrees, like type shit like that. I feel so. I feel like there's a lot of different ways to do it. Like there's not just one right way. And a lot of people get stuck up in one path. 
Like for real? Just gotta think about that. Um. Last topic ended on a good one. Mm. You're doing really good. Fuck. I don't know what a good one is. I just thought of one of that. I don't think that. I think that would have been a flop. <laughs> All right. Tell them where um they could find you as an artist and tell them like. Oh, just like yeah. plug me. Yeah, uh, just plug yourself. All right, but uh, plug yourself. I'm Lalo Beats. Um. I'm a oh, pro- beats, yeah. Uh, Lalo Beats. I'm a pro- LL Beats. I'm a producer for real, but I'm trying to become an artist now, trying to branch out. Yeah. Trying to see where I could take this, you know, for real. Um, but yeah, find me uh, LL Beats, Instagram, SoundCloud. Uh, soon to make Spotify, Apple Music, all that shit to put uh, my tracks out. Just recorded my first track with Smooth. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the future. Let's get it. You better send the home cash app, or you better use cash. Um, the cash app. Man, I had a rush, tried to get us high. I was only doing everything and anything. Man, I wanted her to wear my wedding ring. Shit didn't work, so I moved up. Went up to the ground, forgot about that shit is hard. I need to get it. Was that. At first sight. I fucked it up. I was only doing everything and anything. Man, I wanted her to wear my wedding ring. Shit didn't work, so I moved up. Went up to the ground. Got forgot about her and those late nights. Knowing I was shot. I got a weed down with this cash out. Bro, my fucking phone's bugged. Do you know how, like, clear storage on your phone? Because my uh, phone, like, literally doesn't work anymore. Like, I don't fucking Your pictures, all my right? Apps. What? Your pictures, right? Yeah, bro, I literally, like, can't do anything. Wow, man. It's ass. Okay. You gotta, like, clean your phone real quick. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's not working, yeah. Well, I mean, you think I should just wipe it? Yeah. Or something. The password, I don't know it off the top of my head. The password's behind that shit, though. You gotta, uh, like, stand on the couch and move the curtain up there to the top. Behind the, the other side, the other side. Red shirt, yeah. It's on, yeah, behind that little box. Use your, use a flashlight, you'll see it. And you could just read it. <laughs> you feel me? This part of, this is entertaining. This is what we're doing right now. We're still going. 24 minutes in for this. He's trying to get the password so he could load Cash App and download this app because his phone just, I guess, broke during the session or before. I don't know if he knew or not. But we're here. We're still recording. This song is hard, though. Like, I'm trying to play this shit again. Look at this shit, guys. Man, I ain't that girl. It was love at first sight. Man, I ain't a rug to try it's to just get clean. inside. I was only doing everything and anything. Man, I wanted her to wear my wedding ring. Shit didn't work, so I moved.
though. Went up to the ground, forgot about her. And those late nights, knowing I was shot.